Hello Taurus and welcome to your Gemini season tarot reading. This message may apply if you have Taurus as your sun, moon, rising or Venus signs. Um, as you can see it is extremely windy today um, so hopefully uh, the cards don't blow away. Thankfully I brought some crystals that I can use to hold them down. Um, so yeah hopefully we don't blow away. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Um, so I've been filming these videos kind of over a three week period. So the first week I did mutable signs, um, since Gemini is a mutable sign and we're in Gemini season. And then last week I filmed cardinal signs. So now we finally have the fixed signs, which is Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Um, I'm an Aquarius, so I'm with the thick signs. We're gonna go last. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I gotta find out what's what's going on for you guys this Gemini season. Um, and honestly, oh, Gemini season ends like it ends June twentieth or around then. Um, so. I mean, you have like a good, a good rest of the month, but whenever you see this reading, um, and whatever resonates, it's for ya. So what's going on for my Torians? The first card that came out is the King of Cups, um, which I've been pulling for myself a lot. So I wonder if, ah, this is like a fixed sign thing. <laughs> the queen of cups just came out wait i also have been pulling that for myself okay wow so um saturn just went retrograde on saturday <laughs> um the chariot okay there's a lot of emotion emotion going on here I'm trying to hold these down with my crystal um yeah so mercury retrograde ended on friday uh june the first okay i'm filming this now it's just, today's june 7th um so whatever last friday was um mercury retrograde ended and then saturn retrograde started the day after so saturn um is like the planet of boundaries discipline um lessons karma things of that nature so it might sound oh, serious and scary but jesus christ um these lessons like they have to be learned sooner or later so it's it's good it's a good thing um okay so hopefully hopefully we don't blow away anymore um okay so i don't know if i should start talking or just wait until all the cards come out i'm gonna start talking okay so um the first card that came out for you guys is the king of cups um so this card anytime you have um cups it's like water energy which is uh cancer scorpio pisces and i don't know why but i tend to associate this card with cancer more than um, the other water signs, but take this as you will. Um, you could have like water placements in your chart um, or look at the houses that um, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio rule in your, in your birth chart um, because that's likely what a big focus of your life is right now. Um, so the King of Cups, this is someone who is emotionally balance and available um so what that means is oftentimes for whatever reason like before the part of our brain that can form memories is developed um like things stick with us and i'm trying to explain this i feel like i'm saying this so horribly but like you know we talk about trauma um and we talk about like how like things that happen when you were younger, like kind of is formative um, for 
the rest of your life, your personality um, is getting blown away. But um, yeah, so what I'm trying to say is how we how we respond to like um, stimuli and triggers um, is different for every person. But in this Gemini season, um, you're kind of learning to feel your emotions and cry if you need to cry, let them out. It's such a release. I know I personally have a hard time crying or crying in front of people, but lately I've just been doing it, you know? It's, it's so healthy and necessary and, you know, we keep things stored up, but it's, it's good to just release so that you can make room for new people, new memories, new experiences. You know, we tell ourselves these narratives and we kind of get stuck in these cycles and you know a lot of times it's it's in our heads like we are keeping ourselves stuck we think like oh i deserve this or this is what i know this is what's comfortable for me but you naturally like you can decide in your brain like okay i want to heal emotionally but it takes your your body some time to catch up but i feel like now because i pulled the king of cups and then right after the queen of cups came out um so I think that your divine masculine and feminine energies are being balanced at this time. You're allowing yourself to feel the full range of emotions. Um, you also could be attracting like water sign placements at this time to kind of help you through that process of um, ah, cleansing. I knew this was gonna happen. My makeshift, um, my makeshift tripod is literally just the box that the tarot cards came in. So, not very sturdy. But, um, okay, so the card that came out next is the chariot, which this is the Cancer tarot card. Um, the chariot is also about um, moving forward, flowing, going with the flow, travel. It could be like literal physical travel. You could be traveling this Gemini season, this summer. Um, also cancer season comes next. So that could be significant to you. Um, when I pull more cards, I'll kind of get more context. But I feel like the big theme of this time is just a cleanse. You could honestly like be going to the beach or any body of water and just being in the water, it's such a healing experience and it really like does get you in tune with yourself. Um, I don't know if it was like one or two summers ago, but I was like at the beach with my friends and I had like this moment where the sun was setting. I was like in the ocean ah! alone. Oh my God, please forgive me. I'm so sorry. Okay, we are back, hopefully. Okay. Day. Okay, this is like horrible. <laughs> okay, so I was in the ocean, the sun was setting, I was spinning around reciting poetry and singing and it felt so fucking good. I felt like a mermaid, I felt alive and I feel like you need to have these little romantic moments with yourself to kind of like romanticizing life i feel like that's a big theme too um to not take everything so seriously i don't know where that car just went um the chariot but yes okay so flowing with your emotions yes yes okay so now we also have the knight of swords ah in reverse okay here's the chariot found it Sorry, this is so chaotic. Um, hopefully it's entertaining for you watching this. Um, yeah, okay. So the Nine of Swords in reverse. This is a card of extreme anxiety, overthinking. Um, so there could be some fear. Um, and I think fear holds us back because honestly, when we're afraid to fail, we're afraid of success. I'm gonna say that again. When you are afraid of the unknown you're afraid of failure you're afraid of success because again what i was saying before it's like we have these old patterns these old stories it's like oh do i deserve this yes you deserve it okay let go of that fear of the unknown that overthinking 
it's not going to change anything. It's not serving you. So if you want to be a little delusional, which is not even delusional, it's just you are literally writing your reality and like your life is going to match that. You know what I'm saying? Like your thoughts affect your life so much. And so I think give the rational mind a break. Believe in miracles. Tap into your heart space. Um, I think working on your heart chakra um, can help a lot. So like green crystals, pink crystals. Um, I know rose quartz is a popular one. Um, crystals have different vibrations. Um, also like Tibetan singing bowls or um, what's it called? Like binaural beats. Um, all these things have different vibrations and um, listening to healing music or just your favorite songs, um, wearing pink and green, all these things can help you open up your heart space because um, you're really allowing yourself to be vulnerable and feel your emotions. Um, okay. <laughs> the next card that came out is <laughs> the Lovers in Reverse. So this is a Gemini card. It's interesting that we got the Gemini and the Cancer cards because it's Gemini season and the next Cancer season. Um, so the lovers in reverse. Okay, so I think a big theme in your life right now, like I was just saying before with the heart chakra, is love and relationships and just examining the relationships in your life. Um, and, you know, the, the lovers in reverse, it's kind of like focusing on loving yourself um you know also that fear and anxiety i was saying before like this 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 is gonna apply to everyone differently but like you could have had a breakup or be going through a breakup and that's why you're so in your feelings um or you could just be deciding like i i choose better for myself i'm gonna focus on loving myself healing myself um either way it's always a good thing to tap into your emotions um and work on loving yourself um because when you get that vibration up and your heart space is open and you're okay with feeling your emotions life just becomes so much richer um and then we have the three of wands in reverse so this is like planning for the future so okay so i think it's interesting how the first three cards that came out you know the king and queen of cups and the chariot we're all upright so it's like good flow with your emotions feel them and then we have like nine of swords in reverse lovers in reverse and three of wands in reverse so i feel like you could have maybe saw a future ah, with someone else um or just you had this idea of what the future was and something kind of shook that up and now you're moving you're moving forward but it's not what you had in your head and that's because you're meant for something better um and the card that's on the bottom of the deck which i use as the overall message is the seven of cups i don't know if it was in reverse or not honestly the cards have just been flying around and i'm so sorry for that um but this card it's all about choices options but also delusions illusions it's like yeah you could have many options but how many of them are real or how how much of it is like um you know the wizard of oz where they finally like meet the wizard it's just like some guy behind a curtain like nothing crazy um so you could have people around you like love offers maybe um it doesn't have to just be for love but just like the the emotional lots of lots of options lots of choices and also for your future but it's like, how many of these are formidable options or how much of it is just like, oh, like people see my surface, but like, do they see the deeper sides, you know? So I think getting real um, and trusting your own intuition and your own heart and your own emotions. And really like, this is so cliche, but following your heart is going to lead you exactly where you need to be. If you're following your anxiety and your overthinking, like, that's not that's not gonna manifest like your worst fears like you need to heal that you need to be okay with just feeling like just let the let the emotion happen feel it experience it do what you need to do and then let it go and that's gonna carry you so far um so that's all i have for you lovely taurus placements um i hope this message resonated 
if it did be sure to leave a comment below like subscribe all that good stuff and i hope you have a lovely gemini season love you guys bye